good morning, good morning, and a big warm welcome to Morning Mindset here on this beautiful Sunday morning. I hope you guys are well. This is where we help virtual assistants to level up in their business, lifestyle, and mindset. My, my name is Michelle Dale, Inside Vital Rock Working Space, and we are unpacking the start of a brand new topic this week. Now it's really interesting because oftentimes I don't really think or plan about what I'm going to talk about. I kind of let the universe dictate to me. So this topic was very much dictated by something um, I was looking at over the weekend and I was thinking actually this would be really helpful for you guys to sort of know a bit more about it. And um, it kind of runs along the theme of always what I say, it's not about what you're doing, it's who you're being, because who you're being is creating the actions that allow you to create that business that you want, the life that you want, the relationships that you want, and all that good stuff, you know? So although I focus a lot on virtual assistants, because that is pretty much, you know, like where my professional life resides, I use this stuff in all of my life as well. So I want to talk to you today about the topic of everything is this is a like very powerful thing to take on board about what everything truly means in your life. And in this particular video, what I want to do is try and give you some tools and, and also the videos that are coming up. It's a whole topic, really. It's try and give you some tools that can send to you and bring you back to yourself, to that knowing that everything is OK. Um, and that's what we're going to work on this week. So hopefully you'll take away some nuggets from what we're going to talk about in these videos and we'll see where it goes from there. And again, as always, if you're struggling with anything, whether it be in your virtual assistant business or you know, in life in general, I'll always be very happy to make a topic for you around that um, or that particular subject, or we'll do you know, a Q and A week or something like that. So the thing I want to focus on is everything is. Everything is because Okay, so we have to understand that we are the creators of ourselves and everything is happening right now in your life because of who you're being. So hence the everything is because. So I want to talk today, and this was what triggered this series, is the concept of time, okay? So a lot of people will say, oh, um, like I, I was being that person, I was manifesting money, I was being that person, um, but then the date of the bill came up and I wasn't able to pay it and the money wasn't there, okay? Or, you know, it, it's basically this, this concept of time that we have some sort of deadline to meet and then if we don't meet that deadline, then it won't happen, it's, it's dead essentially, it's, <laughs> it's dead. So, um, or the manifestation is dead, or you tried to make it happen, but it didn't happen. Now, first of all, you have to understand that once you say, I am, and I have, and this is what I choose for myself, you have to first understand straight away, it's already happened. Your deciding it has created a chain reaction of events in your being that has created that for you. Now, what will happen is we'll look again, we'll look around, we'll look inside our bank account, or we'll look at our business and say, well, I haven't got the clients and I needed a client by this time because I needed to pay this bill, or I needed a client by this time because I said I would get a client by this time. So what you're doing there is the, the time, you know, restrictions that you're placing on things is basically putting yourself in a place where you don't have it. So if you say to yourself, this has to happen by this time, or this time, or if you have like, oh, it's fine if it doesn't happen until then, you are essentially saying there is time 
and you're essentially saying it hasn't happened. When the whole point of this is to know it's already happened. So rather than saying something is coming, something is about to happen, you know, I mean, as long as you're in that state of knowing and being, it's okay. But a lot of us will sit there in this waiting mode, waiting for something to happen before a certain time. So we're acknowledging this time, we're acknowledging it hasn't happened. And we are going to stay in that state. So what do you do in this situation? Well, this is definitely something that, you know, as soon as I was able to grasp this concept, it made a lot of sense to me uh, that everything is happening on time. Okay. So if you just suddenly take away the restrictions and the thinking of, I've got to pay this bill by this time, or... Uh, I'm renting a house and my lease is up at the end of this year and I have to find another place by this time. And you simply just focus on the end result, you know? You simply just focus on the thing that you want is already done. Then by, by switching out this deadlines and dates and it's gotta come by then and if it doesn't come by then, this is gonna happen. All you're doing is keeping yourself in a state of I don't have it. If you are in that state of I don't have it, then you'll never have it. Because you're always aware and knowing you don't have it. So switch it up a little bit and say to yourself, everything is always on time. And we always add a because I am in there because it is all about who you're being. So you say everything is always on time because I'm always on time. I do everything on time. Now, when we think about this concept, we are creating everything from us. If you didn't understand that, go back to last week's sessions. We talked about everything working out from you. Everything is working out for you, from you. So it's all about you. It's not about the bank or the postman or the client or the husband or the wife. Or It's all about you. So when you say to yourself, everything is working out from me, you can also add on into that, or you can say also everything for me, but you can also add into that and everything is always on time because I'm always on time. So you're saying that I have the power to create these things in my life because as soon as I say it's done, it's done. As soon as I declare it, I am this, I'm wealthy, I'm happy, I have a successful business, I have all the money I could possibly want and desire, I have a great house, I have my perfect car, my dream car. As soon as you say all that, it's done. So the issue then with the timing aspect of it all is as soon as you start looking for it and saying it has to be by a certain time, you are not allowing the universe to unfold in front of you. You are putting conditions on the I am awareness. You're putting, you, once you put conditions on it, the universe can't move freely. The universe is like, it's almost like you're putting dead ends in its place or, or roadblocks in its place. So if you want something, remove the aspect of time, remove the aspect of the bills coming in on a certain date or the deadline happening by then and simply replace it with everything is always on time. Everything I want is always on time. Everything I need is always on time. Okay, stop thinking about it's, it's not there yet or it's it's, is it going to be there on time or am I going to have it on time or this is coming up, what do I do? Like you've got to kind of eliminate that whole thing from your mind and you've really got to say to yourself that I have this now and everything is always on time because I am always on time. It's complete and utter personal responsibility. And once you take that for yourself, within yourself, there's nothing that can stop it, nothing. There was a story um, from Neville Goddard, and I heard this at the same time, and it, and it made a lot of sense that Neville Goddard was going out looking for an apartment, and he wanted to pay a certain amount of rent, right? 
And let's say, for example, he, he had in his mind his figure of the amount of rent he wanted to pay. So they found the ideal apartment and they decided to take this ideal apartment, but it was for more than he said he wanted on his rent. So he paid the rent the first month, still knowing the ideal amount of rent he wanted to pay. And then he paid the, amount, the, the same amount of rent the second month, but still saying in his mind, this is how much rent I pay and it's always on time. This is how much rent I pay. This is how much rent I pay. Even he's paying a different amount of rent, which is above the figure that he said he was paying. He did it for two months. The third month, the man who he's renting from comes to him and says, we've made a mistake. Your rent is actually lower than what you've been paying. So only pay this amount this month, which was the exact amount that he wanted in on what he was declaring. And they gifted him back the balance of the previous two months. So even though he had already paid two months at a different amount of rent, he got reimbursed and therefore he was always paying the amount of rent that he declared he paid. My point is, just because you're looking at bills and deadlines and things that have to be in by certain amounts of times and things that have to be done by certain amount of times, projects, uh, you know, whatever it is, let go of this time aspect of it all and just enjoy this present moment, knowing it's all already done and everything is going to come in on time because it has to. Don't panic, don't fuss, don't um, feel like you've got to control something and do something and I've got to fix this situation and where is the money going to come from because you're just literally going to be in that frenzy constantly. As soon as you understand that time is not this linear thing, that everything can work out perfectly regardless of what your small 3D world and mind is showing you, then you will really set the the, the doors to open to any possibility and opportunity that needs to come in in order for it to happen on time. That is today's first lesson on everything is because. And remember this, everything is always on time because I am always on time. Everything I declare, everything I want, everything I need, I'm always on time. And claim it. And don't worry about anything else. And watch everything unfold around you. And do not be swayed by what you see on the outside. As long as you stay in that knowing that everything is on time, it will happen. Trust the process. Okay, so we will be back here tomorrow for another morning mindset. We'll be unpacking the everything is because topic a little bit more. That was the concept of time. I know it's a big one for a lot of people because we spend a lot of our time thinking about things that we don't have and when we're going to get them and how we're going to get them and what we need to do to manifest them. But honestly, everything is because is the only thing. Everything is because I am, and that's what we're unpacking this week. So thank you so much for being here. If you're watching the replay, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget as well to leave me a comment um, or a like if you find these videos helpful and this information helpful. And in the meantime, we are going to get onto our daily accountability, focus on gratitude, focus on goals, and set our day up in the right way. Thank you so much, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Before we begin, don't forget you can join me live online inside virtual co-working space at www.virtualmissfriday.com forward slash VCS. If you enjoy this session, give it a like. I'd love to hear from you, so write me a comment. And so you don't miss any updates, don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. So now we're going to look for the positive with our gratitude. First, we'll spend one minute thinking of the day before thinking of all the things that happened, reflecting on work, interactions, relationships, memorable moments, and more. Now you'll write one thing down minimum that you're grateful for. You can, of course, write down more. Something good, something that went right, a small moment or a big win. 
The more you search for things to be grateful for, the more you will experience things to be grateful for. Now we're going to read out your goal. Make sure your goal is written down in a journal or somewhere you can easily access it. Read your goal now, ideally out loud, and commit to this goal. Believe it will happen. And by reading this daily, the universe knows clearly what your goal is and the things begin to shift in the direction of your goal. Follow your instincts when this happens by taking action. Now you need to see your goal in visualization. Spend this minute thinking about the goal in your mind. See yourself taking steps towards the goal or even better still, see yourself having already achieved the goal. Close your eyes and go there. Step into the feeling, step into the place, step into the accomplishment. And finally, it's time for your most important task. Set this task for today and make it relating to your goal. This could be something small like sending an email, recording a video or making a phone call, or it could be bigger. Either way, one task a day is one step forward and those steps will add up. Do what you can from where you are now. Set the intention and the action will carry you towards your goal. Well done you for completing your daily co-create session. Have a fantastic day ahead and I'll see you next time.